Hey everyone, my name's Harry Atomic and welcome to another video about Xbox 360 collecting. So for this week's Monday video, we're gonna talk about collecting some Xbox 360 games, specifically the promotional copies. So the promotional copies of games I'm gonna be talking about today are gonna be PAL games. Now there are some dual cased promotional US release games, however I'm not familiar enough with them to actually like talk about collecting them, plus I never see imports over here so collecting them is pretty much just out of the realm of possibility for me. So the games that I'm talking about are these ones right here, they're ones that have like a yellow banner on them that say promotional copy not for resale, as well as having their cover art just kind of dulled down about. So really the main question is, where did these games come from? Now, it's easy to assume that because it's a promotional copy that it was sent to reviewers, but from my experience, very little of these games were actually pressed for the sole purpose of reviewing the game. Most of the time, these games were released as part of bundles or were released just as part of like other sets or came with a controller or something. Just any type of bundle where the game wasn't the only thing that you were getting had one of these games in it instead of just the normal full color release. It's the same reason why that sometimes on cans of coke and a multi-pack you'll see like part of a multi-pack like don't sell these individually. It's just to stop retailers like taking the game out and selling all the components individually. So the thing is is that these are extremely easy to spot. Whenever you're out looking for games you'll see the big yellow banner pretty much straight away as well as you notice the difference in color again pretty much straight away. Now there are some other minor differences between my two copies of Sean White snowboarding that aren't maybe super kind of important. Uh, it's really just because the promotional copy that I have is a German promotional copy whereas the Sean White snowboarding is just a regular PAL release. Uh, it, PAL games came out all over Europe so there are some subtle differences like that. I don't even want to start collecting different like regions versions of game oh man nightmare pal I'm collecting pal but yeah despite the actual cover looking different there's really only one other difference and that's that at the on the back of the game there's no barcode on the promotional copy again just pretty much showing us that these games were never meant to be taken out and sold by themselves I suppose the massive not for resale gives that away too so another difference that you'll get between promotional copies and regular releases are the disc itself now promotional discs are just white and they just have the game's name printed on them as well as some other logos and stuff from like Xbox and the publisher. They're not really made to be super flashy, they're made to be promotional copies, that's that's what they are, they're just promotional copies. Whereas the retail release, it, it's usually in full color, it's got like a proper disc design. I mean, you can see the differences, they're pretty striking. But other than that, this isn't like a classics release where different versions of the game will appear on different releases. Usually what happens here is that the version that's on the promotional copy is the version that's on the first release of the retail copy. So there's no difference in getting a promotional copy over getting a regular copy of the game. Now, not only that, but they're not really that much rare either. I picked up I think four or five promotional copies of games just through shopping around and finding them by accident. There were even a few I picked up just because they were there and the normal release wasn't. They don't seem to be much rarer so if anyone's trying to charge a massive premium for a promotional copy of a game I wouldn't really take it too seriously. Only PAL ones though, again not too sure about US releases. Now as with most things there are exceptions to this rule. There were some games early in the Xbox 360's life cycle that came bundled with the console. So for example, you could get Gears of War with an Xbox 360 console as part of a bundle way back whenever Gears of War first came out. And instead of saying promotional copy, it says bundle copy and also the artwork isn't dulled down. But again, there's no difference between it and the normal release. So if you find one of these bundle copies, I mean, yeah, pick it up. It's cool to have like a bundle version that's slightly different, but I mean, it's not going to go massively through the roof in value or anything. What do you see now in 10 years time, someone will come back going, oh my God, a Gears of War bundle copy that's worth so much and I'll be like haha I sold it but anyways I also want to take this opportunity to pretty much correct a previous video that I made on Xbox 360 classic versions now when talking about budget release titles I said find any but there was no game that came out on multiple kinds of the classics if you know what I mean 
As in, if a game came out on the first kind of classics, it didn't come out again on the second kind of classics. And while shopping around for different games to buy for making these videos, I was pretty much proven wrong. So yes, there were games that were released on multiple versions of classics editions. So in order to illustrate this, I picked up, again, none other than Gears of War. There are currently four versions of Gears of War that I can think of. There's the bundle copy, the normal release, the silver box, and then the green case one. Wow, it's so hard to point in the viewfinder. And also while I was out and about, I found the same thing for Halo 3. Now, yes, there's also limited like special 10 editions of these games as well, but I really don't collect those. I just collect like normal case games. Oh my goodness, I'm collecting classics now, aren't I? Anyways, I felt it was important to correct myself if I'm giving people like advice or if I'm giving people like the fruits of my research on here and I make a mistake, then I gotta correct it. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. I will admit there is a real scarcity of information on these promotional copies online so if you know anything more than I do on it or if you know something that I said that was completely wrong please let me know in the comments down below. Part of the reason why I make these videos is to learn about the Xbox as well as to just kind of talk about it so you guys correcting me has kept me right on many occasions already. So yeah again thank you for watching please consider getting subscribed to the channel if you like Xbox related videos. I know I talk a lot about the 360 but there has been some I'm interested in talking about the original Xbox as well as the Xbox One so I might start bleeding into that type of content over time and just kind of explore Xbox as a whole. Also the way the channel is laid out is today Mondays there is a video just basically talking about anything Xbox. Wednesdays is community day where I make a video that you guys suggest in the comments so if you want a video made let me know down below and Saturdays is where we do a roundup of the week's Xbox news so I want this channel pretty much to be the one-stop shop for all things Xbox. And if you want to talk about anything in today's video or just anything Xbox related, the best place to do so is on the Xbox 360 Hub Discord. It recently became the official Discord for the Xbox 360 subreddit, so well done. And also, it's where I am most of the time, just listening to people talking about games and just chatting Xbox in general. But yeah, there's so many people on there that know so much more than I do, so it is the best place to go if you're an Xbox fan, trust me. Oh, some of the stuff on there is amazing. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.